Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the second video on the series Python scripting for storage administrator or in broad term we can say it is for system administrator. So in the first video I explained what is scripting, why we should learn scripting. I have given some examples of uh, popular websites which are based on uh, Python programming language. In today's video we will discuss on the step by step process that we have to do in order to install the Python scripting language in Windows OS. So I am using Windows 8 but the installation process is pretty much similar for all other version as well. So first of all we need to download the setup file and that we can get it in a website called python.org. Org. So I will put a link for this particular website also. Here you have to go to download section. Here you can see that the latest version is Python 3.6.4. So if you are regularly updating your OS with uh, new release of patches then I will recommend to go for 3.6.4. So if you are going to follow along the entire series I would recommend to go with the Python 3.4.4 that I will show you how we can download. So instead of clicking here, go to Windows section here, type Ctrl F and uh, type 3.4.4. So here we can see that Python 3.4.4, I have 64 bit of uh, operating system. So I will click here. If you have 32 bit, then click here. I will not download it because I have already downloaded the version. So I will start with the installation process. So once you download it, it will looks like uh, this. And you just have to double click on this particular setup file and here you will get two options i will use install for all user you can also install just for one particular user by clicking on this option which is not available on windows vista i'm sure windows vista nobody is using these days so this will not be a problem for you guys so install for all users and then next here we'll have to specify a path where all the installation file will get uh, stored so I will be using Python 34 which is default and click on next. So I was using previous Python version. So the Python 34 folder is already exist. I am going to override the existing file. So I will click yes and then click on next. In this section you can uh, select which files you need to install or which you don't want to. But I would recommend keep it as it is. But you just click here to add this python.exe to your environmental variable path so that it will be accessible from anywhere so you just have to click on will be installed on local hard drive and then click on next so the installation process will take a few minutes based on your system speed so i will pause this video for some time and then i will come back so there was no issue on installing uh, this versions of python here so now i just have to click on finish so now in order to verify whether python get installed or not open your command prompt and then type uh, python so here we can see that we have successfully installed it python 3.4.4 now let's uh, add the gui of uh, python as a shortcut i'm pretty much sure that uh, if you are using some different versions of uh, windows then you will be able to perform these steps i'm using windows 10 so i am following a different process than yours so I will have to type uh, python here so I can see the python related files here so python ideally so this is the console where we will be writing all our code so I will just right click on it and uh, here I can see option called uh, pin to taskbar so I will just click on it which will allow me to access the python console easily from my taskbar this is how our python console looks like the GUI or the IDLE we will be writing most of our code in this console so before wrapping up this video let me tell you one more thing how we can install various modules in Python so modules are nothing but these are the pre-written bunch of code which will perform the certain uh, task so you can also install this in your system after you install Python you just have to type pip pip then install and then the modules I will use Paramico module to connect any device which is accessible through SSH and then hit enter. So I already have uh, the Paramico module installed. So it is 
showing their requirement already satisfied. This was the one process down the line. If we see that uh, our code is asking for some more modules, then we will do quickly. So this was the process for uh, installing and we are now ready to start our coding. So the next uh, two to three videos will be on basics of Python and then we will start the actual fun part. So that's all for this video. So now I have a request to you guys that uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and once you've subscribed hit the bell icon so that uh, you will get notified for every video that upload in this particular series. There is nothing harm in subscribing. You just have to click this button and continue to get free tutorial videos on SAN and NAS technology.